Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, one of those questions which needs to be answered today is why do older American men wear baseball caps? I was watching the news yesterday and President Biden was floating around wearing a baseball cap and I'm thinking, aren't you a bit old for that? It was the same with Trump. He used to always wear baseball caps, didn't he? And uh, not just presidents. I saw a couple of Americans wandering around here the other day, no doubt trying to trace their family history. They were wearing baseball caps and tartan ties. The weirdest thing. Yeah, you know, here in the UK, it's quite common to find Americans wandering the streets trying to find details about their great, great grandparents. I saw one the other day staring at a church and she was saying, is that a church? Is that a bank? What is that? Office? Bank? Church? Because, of course, America's a new country. They don't really have uh, the older classical buildings that we have that may have survived from, let's say, the 17th or 18th century. It's, it's quite amusing when you come across them. Well, anyway, they won't be wandering around here today because we have snow. And uh, if I just give you the details from the window, I know you enjoy these window podcasts. Uh, yeah, there's snow lying on the grass. The roads are kind of clear, probably icy out there. Um, and the traffic's still running okay, but... Uh, yeah, the, the, the snow is lying on top of the grass, which is lovely. But if it hardens, it becomes a little bit dangerous. But uh, generally, just looking out the window, I can see a kind of a mixture of green grass and uh, uh, the white lying on top of it, beginning to melt, which is lovely. Isn't that a song recently about green, green grass? I'm sure I heard a pop song recently, green, green grass. Speaking of pop songs, uh, did you know, and this popped into my my ear from a radio program earlier today, that uh, do you know Aerosmith? Aerosmith sang that song... I don't want to miss a thing. Do you remember? I don't want to miss a thing by um, by Aerosmith. That song was originally offered to Celine Dion. Can you imagine Celine Dion singing that? Oh, no. I don't like Celine Dion. I often say there's only two things that I really dislike in the world. Two things I really hate. And Celine Dion is both of them. Yeah, I never really took to Celine Dion, unfortunately. To take to something means to take a warm affection to it, you know. For example, you could say, oh, I met my friend and I really took to her. Not in a romantic way, it just means I like her, to take to something. Celine Dion is not the kind of thing you would take to, is she? Anyway, speaking of um, of these kind of songs... Another one uh, was the Whitney Houston song. How will I know if she really loves me? Or is it he really loves me? How will I know if he really loves me? Yeah, that was a Whitney Houston song, wasn't it? But originally offered to Janet Jackson. Oh, didn't know that either. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, we didn't know this about uh, these kind of songs. There's loads of them being offered to different people. Uh, Kylie Minogue was another one. Uh, was it that song? Na, na, na. You know the one that she did? Uh, one of them, anyway. I don't know which Kylie song it was. Is it I Can't Get You Out of My Head? Is that is that the right one? Anyway, that was offered to S Club 7, which is one of these... Um, fabricated pop bands, you know, with young people. Uh, I think they've been around for many, many years, but they were teenagers when they started and they used to do backflips and acrobatics and different things. I heard last week that they're getting back together as Club 7. 
I mean, they're all in their 40s now. <laughs> I'd like to see them trying to do backflips and acrobatics in their 40s. They've already apologized, saying that they'll be mainly sitting. Can you imagine doing those kind of pop songs when you're sitting down on seats in front of an audience? Having said that, the audience is probably older now as well. The people who like the S Club 7. Oh, yeah, if you, if you like K-pop, you would like S Club 7. It's all uh, synchronized and uh, choreography so that they're all doing the same steps at the same time. S Club 7. So, yes, they're coming back for their 25th anniversary this year. Oh, I can't imagine that. Can't imagine. And I really can't imagine Kylie Minogue doing an S Club 7 song. Well, it wasn't really. I mean, it was offered to S Club 7 first. They said no, probably because it was too hard for them. And Kylie Minogue uh, got it and had a hit with it before she moved back to Australia. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Interesting. Well, there we are. So some music trivia for you today, some music trivia. And that's about it from me for today. That's a little update on UK life and living. This is what, well, this is what happens when you uh, live without tomatoes. You start talking about weird things. We still can't get tomatoes. A little bit bizarre, but uh, there we are. All right, then. Until soon. See you all. Bye. <laughs>